Hey guys, what's up? This is Trish. Welcome to my channel, Trish the Natural. In today's video, I am going back to the wash and goes. It's been a while since I've had my hair in a wash and go. Um, over the holidays, I would say almost a month, I've been protective styling and that's been um, wearing wigs. And uh, before that, I think I had maybe did a couple of uh, twist out styles. So it's been a little minute since I wore a wash and go. And with, you know, wearing the wigs, you know, I was uh, twisting my hair up and putting it back and, you know, wearing it under the wigs. And I was, I was a little neglectful, you know. But uh, what I did do is take time to, you know, when I took the wigs off to moisturize my hair. So I did do that. Uh, but my hair was in need of some hydration. And I knew I wanted to wear a wash and go. You guys know I have been following... Um, for my last uh, several wash and goes, I was following Anthony Dickey's techniques that he uses. And um, one of the key things is hydration, hydration, hydration. So uh, I knew my hair was in need of hydration, especially since I wanted to wear a wash and go. And um, so um, what I did was, let me get you up to where I'm at right now. What I did was I, I did pre-poo my hair because it was a bit tangled and I knew I had a lot of shed hair. So I did uh, do a pre-poo. And after the pre-poo, uh, when I got in the shower, I rinsed that out, but I let the water run, run, run. I mean, I really let it run through my hair. I wanted, you know, I was squishing it in and squishing it in. And this is after I had rinsed out the pre-poo and I let it run, run, run until I could, you know, almost sort of, of you know, feel my texture coming back because it was kind of fluffy, you know, how it gets when it gets, you know, a little dry and need a hydration and moisture. So I just let the water run through, run through, run through my hair. And um, after I did that, I did shampoo it um, and I shampooed it really good. I got down in my scalp um and just you know got it real good nice and clean then i rinsed the shampoo out and i took my time i rinsed that out really thoroughly and i followed that up instead of a rinse out conditioner you know since you know I had you know kind of not done anything you know to my hair as far as you know the hydration and all that um i decided to go with uh uh, deep conditioner because I wanted you know to get a little more uh, moisture than just doing the regular rinse out so I had uh, you guys know I had a lot of uh, Mish products and uh, I had just like a little bit in this uh, jar a little bit in this jar and a little bit in this jar so what I did was I took all that and I put that on my hair as a deep conditioner and I put uh, a plastic bag on my head and I put this uh, scarf on this one my like my heavy scarves I put on and so that's where I'm at right now and what I'm getting ready to do is I'm gonna rinse um, uh, the conditioner out and immediately uh, apply uh, my leave-in. The leave-in I'm going to use today uh, is the Camille Rose Coconut Water. I'm, I want to try this one again. Um, so I'm going to use this as my leave-in and then I'm going to, uh, I don't have it over here with me, but I'm going to use uh, the Big Papa Gel to set it, uh, the wash and go with and I'm gonna probably top it with the Allocade Natural. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. And I'll show you guys what it's looking like. Uh, it's been marinating in the conditioner, with the conditioner on my hair for about well over an hour. Well over an hour. And I just got it 
pull it back like this. So you can see. And uh, like Anthony Dickey advises, I put a lot of conditioner in. And I'm trying to, you know, get that moisture back in my hair from, you know, going without it, kind of, you know, with the protective styles. So, um, what I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to rinse this out. And like I said, I'm going to put um, the leave-in and the gels in to set the wash and go. And I'll come back and show you guys what it's looking like. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I am back. I have finished the wash and go setting process. Uh, in the last clip, you saw that I had applied um, deep conditioner to my hair and I rinsed that out. After I rinsed that out real good, I used some of the Camille Rose coconut water leave in. So I put that through, and like I showed you guys before, I kind of put it. Uh, on one side down the middle and put it through and then after that uh, while I was at the sink with the water running I uh, applied the gel right right after I put it in leave I mean immediately and it was the big pop of gel I used that because I've been liking this and I put that through my hair I worked it in really good um, it it felt different guys it felt different i don't know if it felt different because you know i had been protective styling i had not been hydrating my hair as much as before i don't know if it was the leave-in because uh, previously i had been using niche uh, leave-in which i really like and i ran out and i cannot believe i let all these sales pass by and i didn't get any um, so I don't know if it was the leave-in, it just felt, it felt different, but now it feels better because I really, and you guys can see in the wet state because it's still wet, you can see, um, that my curls are really, um, uh, coming through, you know, my texture is really, really coming through, um, I'm hoping that's from hydration and not just product, okay? Because my goal is to, you know, promote healthy hair by hydrating, moisturizing it, and, you know, trying to take care of it. Um, and so after I work this in real good, the Big Papa, I put a thin layer of the Alake, um naturals uh lemongrass uh hold it styling gel i like to use this you know just as a top i think it it gives a little more hold than using a big popper by itself and i don't put a lot as i mentioned before in previous videos if you use too much of this you gonna have some crunchy crunchy curls okay so this is where i'm at right now guys it is so late i'm getting ready to sit under the dryer and then i'm going to bed i'm gonna try to sit under 30 minutes then i'm going to bed but i will come back and show you guys the final look and let you guys know how it feels and all that so keep watching hey guys it's the next morning last night i dried my hair for about 30 minutes it was so late and i'm getting ready to go to work so uh this is what my hair is looking like after uh drying uh under the dryer last night and then i put my bonnet on and this is what it's looking like yeah it is shrunken but i'm gonna wear this shrunken to work today uh because i really don't have time to stretch it i was up late and i slept overslept and to show you guys what it's looking like this is what it's looking like uh it is definitely a uh, medium hold um it's, it's not uh, crunchy and it's not like there's nothing there. There's a real light cast on it. And it's kind of how I like it. And uh, there is definition. So um, I'm going to rock it like this uh, for work today. And um, 
I'll come back, like I said, uh, this evening, and I'll uh, fluff and stretch it and show you guys the final look. So keep watching. Okay, guys, I'm back. Been to work. And... <laughs> it's my hair. I put my uh, bonnet back on when I got home, but it was pretty much shrunk. I had kind of laid it down and stuff, so I didn't care. <laughs> uh, so this is what, again, what my hair is looking like. I just want to pop on and show you guys. This is it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it and puff, fluff it and shape it, and I'll come back and show you guys what it's looking like this last time guys this is it okay okay guys i'm back i have finished um stretching my hair uh with heat um from the hand uh blow dryer and i kind of uh shaped it and fluffed it and this is what it's looking like um, that little bit of heat from stretching, it gave it more movement. As you saw in the previous clip, uh, my hair did have, I would say it was like a medium cast on it. And uh, so stretching it a little bit, it broke that cast. So it gives me some movement. Um, even though I stretched it, I still got a lot of uh, good texture. You guys can see that. And uh, so, yeah. So these are my results um, from uh, going from having a protective style. And I think before that I had did like a couple of twist outs, uh, protective style. I wasn't, you know, shampooing and hydrating as often. So, you know, I was curious to, you know, see, you know, how my curls were going to look and you know if they were going to come right back because you know i kind of neglected a little bit i hadn't been shampooing i did um moisturize and and with misting the hair and adding a moisturizer to it and i think i might have added a um uh, leave in or something too. I just whatever I can to kind of moisturize it, you know, especially wearing wigs. And you know, when I take the wig off and feel my hair, if it's feeling a little dry, I'll try to do something to moisturize it. So I was really curious to see, you know, okay, how's my hair gonna react? Am I gonna be able to get, you know, uh, my texture back with the uh, wash and go? So this is what it's looking like. Um, I must say upon like feeling it, um, it doesn't feel as moisturized as it felt like when I was, you know, doing the little Anthony Dickey, uh, method or, you know, I'm loosely following his method. I'm not doing exactly how he does it, but, uh, one thing, um, uh, that, you know, he says that's important is to hydrate your hair and hydrate it, you know, as often as you can. And that's what I was doing. Now, I wasn't doing it every day. I wasn't doing it every other day, but I might, you know, uh, do it every few days where, you know, I'll start off, you know, with a wash and go doing a full shebang. And then maybe in a few days, you know, do a cold wash. So, you know, I was doing that and I, I, I notice a difference, you know, it feels okay. And, and, I, and I'm just saying, you know, it's been a while, you know, since I had, you know, been on a, a routine. That's why I say routine is important. If you at least can get it weekly, I think it's good. Now I did use a different leave in than what I usually use. Um, I usually use uh, Mish, and this time I use this. I don't know, you know, that could have, you know, made a difference in it. I don't know. Um, but one thing I can say in regards to, like, you know, hydration, uh, and this is something that I've, I, I had previously heard through Anthony Dickey, through uh, what was that method we used to do the curly girl method you know about you know hydration so I knew shampooing the hair hydrating the hair moisturizing the hair 
you know, with uh, conditioners, deep conditioners and stuff. I, I always knew, you know, that was important as far as, you know, what I've learned, you know, in my natural hair journey, right? And it has pretty much worked for me, you know, doing that. Yeah, I might have not did it as often <laughs> as I should, but I knew that, you know, it's important to hydrate and condition your hair. And so, um, that wasn't anything like really new. Um, but you know, sometimes you experience some things, you know, that, that really make it sink in. And since I've been, you know, a student stylist and I've had the opportunity to, um, shampoo and style and all that different you know uh textures types uh conditions of hair you know some people from you know where they take good care of their hair and it's in pretty good condition and some of those that neglect their hair um so i i've had the opportunity to experience that so with me being really big on hydration of the hair uh, when I shampoo a client you know I, I I do that you know I I and I get teased about it that you know I'm doing too much pampering it's taking too long you know for me to uh you know get the client through but you know it's important for me because of who I am and how I feel about, you know, hair, you know, the health of hair, right? So that's important to me than, you know, zipping somebody through. So I take my time and I, you know, try to be thorough. So uh, I'm talking about this because there was a client that came in. And, and she's come in a few times, and it's a first-come, first-serve basis. And her hair was um, really, really dry. Really, really dry. Um, like from, one, she had color, like bleach. And it was really, really dry. And to look at it, you would think, oh, it's so, you know, coarse and dry and stuff. And just that's just looking at it right. And then... Um, you know, I had the opportunity, you know, to do her hair. Now, the first time uh, one of my classmates did her hair, and I'm looking like, oh, my God. You know, you know, looking at her hair thinking, oh, my God. I mean, it wasn't, I think she tried to curl it, and it was just barely a bump. You know, it was like it was in need of something, right? So when she came back in, I'm going into a story time. I'm doing a watch and go video, but I'm going to wrap it up real quick. When she came back in, I, you know, shampoo. She was coming in for a special service that um, one of the other um, students was going to do for her. But that student was working with somebody. So I was like, okay, I'll go on and, you know, uh, shampoo and conditioner. And I did my regular way how I do my clients and you know what I you know be saying in the videos guys let the water run through let the water have an opportunity to penetrate and um um that's what I did you know that's what I did to her her I let the water just run through because you know sometimes some of us you know we got low porosity her it takes a while you know for that water to you know get in there and so I do that and you know do the shampoo the uh, deep condition I really like you know I use a lot <laughs> of conditioner and you know I just you know put it through the hair run my fingers you know through the hair make sure I get all the tangles out and I was like Woo. her texture bing, it popped she had a beautiful texture and and you know, I'm thinking like, okay, cause I didn't, I didn't shampoo her before, so maybe that's how her is. And so, uh, uh, my classmate who was doing her hair, she was like, "Dang, Trish, 
you really wash this hair? <laughs> well, shampoo. I'm gonna say shampoo. Really, shampoo? This she's like hot texture pop. I've never seen her hair look like this. And it was how I shampoo and condition it. I made sure her hair was well hydrated and moisturized. And so I said all that to say, I just really do think it's something to um, taking the time to properly hydrate and moisturize your hair using water in the shower while you, you know, shampooing your hair, let just take some time and let that water run through and penetrate. Don't be so quick to, you know, put the shampoo on top, you know, just, you know, you want you your, your hair some love and, you know, what I always say, let that water marinate through your strands, you know, and then finish, you know, that shampooing process and, you know, uh, deep condition and you don't have to deep condition every time, you know, you learn your hair, listen to your hair, see how your hair feels. You know, if you done been through a rough spell, you done had uh, protective style in for a long time, I probably need to deep condition my hair, right? So, you know, listen to your hair, you know, take, take your time, listen to your hair, even before you shampoo, it's like, okay, let's see how, how my hair feeling and stuff, you know? So, um, that's just me, my little spiel guys, but, um, I just wanted to, you know, share that with you because I think it's important and, uh, share with you, me, you know, jumping back on to the wash and goes and stuff after a while of, uh, you know, the holidays, I was busy. So I, I did, you know, I'm always telling y'all, you know, do this, do this. I need to do it myself too. But, you know, life happens and sometimes, you know, we can't do all the things we want to do. But when you get a chance to fix it, you know, fix it. Hydrate. Moisturize. So, I'm off my soapbox. And that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I thank you for stopping by. If you liked it, please share it with someone else who you think will benefit from the information. And come back to see me. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you will know when I drop a new video. Until the next one, peace.